of the family of a missing elderly man refusing to give up the search to find him. Michael Delaney, who suffers from Alzheimer's, left Reston Hospital through an emergency exit and has not been seen since. Police called of their search, called off their search for Delaney after several days, so that's when his family gathered their own search party. Now, if you've seen Delaney, you are urged to call police. He was last seen wearing a yellow hospital gown. And new at 630, today is a day to celebrate the class of 2020. That's because it is National Graduation Tassel Day. Now, traditionally, students move the tassels on their caps from right to left, but virtual ceremonies have changed things, so graduates and their families are encouraged to take this day to celebrate their achievements. Now, ABC7 is also honoring 2020 graduates. We are proud to air Prince George's County Public Schools virtual graduation ceremony. Oxon Hill High School graduate actress Taraji Henson will be the commencement speaker. The graduation celebration airs May 30th on our sister station, WJLA 24-7 News, and again the th on the 31st at noon on ABC7. Now we have some must-see video now. A Richmond police officer is getting attention for his soulful rendition of America the Beautiful. America, America. Yeah, that is Officer Mervyn Mayo. He showed off his vocal skills on Facebook in honor of National Police Week. The National Law Enforcement Museum even asked Mayo to sing for them. He was included in the museum's virtual vigil for officers recently singing Amazing Grace. That voice is amazing. Well, a reminder, this is the last weekend to donate to the Your Neighbor Needs You campaign. With your help, we have raised more than $771,000 nationwide. If you're able to donate, please do. We are close to our goal, but not there just yet. Just go to WJLA.com slash cares. All right, we are switching now to weather. It's been a beautiful past couple of days, but some changes are on the way from what I hear. Yeah, Carl, I hope you and everyone watching at home were able to enjoy part of the weekend, especially yesterday. We had a little bit more sunshine than today and certainly warmer temperatures. But it's a beautiful evening out there. Let's take a look, particularly this view from Nationals Park. And we've got those temperature readings from Reagan National Airport. We're at 68 degrees. That is actually so far the highest temperature of the day. We've been there for a few hours, but warmer than a good portion of the afternoon was with winds coming from the east relatively calm. You can see the mostly cloudy skies on satellite and radar certainly a few peaks of sunshine making their way through but this cloud cover is going to stick around for several days the good news is we are not looking as rainy as we were initially thinking we're tracking these two systems the one just off the coast of uh, now between south and north carolina of course tropical storm arthur which we were talking about but what probably catches your eye a little bit more all the rain stretching from michigan down to louisiana that is going to be our next weather maker a much big player here locally so if we kind of jump ahead to about Tuesday timeline you can see that Arthur that low has tracked off to the east and it will lose its tropical storm status whereas the one to the west lingers and lingers and it brings some chances for heavy rainfall but notice that we look likely to stay kind of in a gap between the two so we have again Arthur likely heading out to see the cutoff low sticking around. We are going to see more of that dry gap that is at least the way the models are trending where the heavier rain is going to stay to our south and west kind of like you see on the image here. So hopefully that becomes more and more of a trend but we are keeping rain chances in the forecast Monday right on through Friday because we're close on the line there and in particular tomorrow looks like we could see some scattered to isolated shower activity. Best chance for some more widespread rainfall will be Thursday and heading into Friday. But in terms of those totals, we've really taken them down rather than the two to four inch range. We're more in that one to two inch range. And if you're watching from further north or east, most of Maryland here, you could even stay under an inch. And that's for totals throughout the week. So taking it through hour by hour on your Stormwatch 7 future cast, you can see the clouds continuing overnight. We may have some patchy fog as well as we head into tomorrow morning. And then the scattered shower activity that I mentioned for tomorrow, not going to be a washout. The heavier rain looks likely in the evening hours and primarily impacting western parts of the viewing area. So your full seven day forecast is going to uh, bring those rain chances in for us. As I mentioned throughout the work week, it also brings some cooler temperatures, even cooler in fact than today we're going to be in the 60s right on through most of the work week back up to the 70s for Friday and heading into next weekend as well I know next weekend Memorial Day weekend and hopefully you'll be able to spend some time outside we've got a little bit of sunshine in the forecast to look forward to and hoping that will hold out for Monday as well that's the latest look at your seven-day forecast
All right, thank you very much. Sounds good. Well, her husband is the new Redskins head coach, but Stephanie Rivera is no stranger to coaching in D.C. What she's saying about her return to Washington. In these uncertain times, Stanley Steamer remains your trusted partner in clean. We are prepared and equipped to get your space back to clean and healthy again. If your employees, students, or congregation are at home, now is the perfect time for a deep cleaning from Stanley Steamer. When a community suffers, people show up in incredible ways. And when hope feels out of reach, Ashcraft and Jarrell is here for you. We've been helping injured families for over 60 years. We're not just personal injury lawyers. We are a part of your home. We live in uncertain times. However, there is one thing you can be certain of. The men and women...